What's happening guys? We're back down at BDD, but today we're not down here to do our own sliding. We're down with a limited super. These guys are unreal. They actually know what they're all about whenever it comes to drifting. Unlike me and Bernsey, these guys are experienced. The cars that are here are absolutely insane. We've got McFarlow Soar that's 709 horsepower. We've got Dave Skillen and another Soar. It's a bit older, but it used to have a 1G twin turbo. It's now got a 1GC GTE. We've got a starter with an insane engine swap that slides like fuck. We've got Chaser Green down in a few of his cars. It's just gonna be an insane day. It's gonna be filled with fucking a load of action, passionate runs, a fuck ton of tire smoke. It's absolutely nuts. Dave Skillen's already went for like fucking four sets and we're only at like 1 p.m. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna be nuts. So let's get on to it. Let's get a few passenger runs and this is gonna be insane. Wonder. 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 Behind me, we've got a sum of the limited supercars. They're absolutely insane. We'll start off with Dave Skill and Soar. This thing had a 1G twin turbo engine originally from factory. Um, it's now got a 1JZ GT. I'm not 100% sure how much power this is making, but it's making pretty decent power. He's got the bad boy classic racing seat in it. He's got a nice wee fucking naughty steering wheel, a few boost gauges. I'm not sure what ECU and stuff he's running, but this thing is fucking sick. Uh, as you can see, he's a fucking pilot. He's a pilot and he's not afraid to fucking scoop this thing up. It looks insane. The chrome wheels, it's what it needs. It runs 17s, which is pretty mad. Um, I would have thought that they'd run 18s, but he says just the arches are a wee bit smaller, so that's kind of what he has to run. Look at the smart car, what? Then, beside the car, we've got an S14A and we've got a 180 SX. This 180's fucking fat. Kai, mate. As a future, as a future 180 owner, what's your opinion of it? Sexy. Here I'll solve it. <laughs> cheap, cheap <laughs> race. Too much. Too much. <laughs> Fly ground. Yeah. What? Oh, <laughs> really? Not 18, like. It's not. True. Yeah, well, I'm going to be 18 for his, like. Either his on ground with three. What kind of power and stuff's this making? Uh, just under 300. It's not much done engine wise to it. Um, just an S15 part one stuff onto it. But it goes all right, like. It's fucking sick. And then do you like daily it as well? Or just. Oh, no, definitely just, not daily. It's just too, fucking too raw for. Uh, it's classic to be fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah very. It loves it. It's so it does. How it should be like. Yeah, it asks for it every day. Like. Whenever they're sitting in a fucking car, it's just sad. What size are they with front wheels, mate? They're tiny. They're, they're 17 by 9. That's class. And then the rear rear's are 18 then? They're, they're actually 17 but there's a bigger tire on them, so they're 17. Right, okay. That's mad. So there is what, um, it's just a steering angle. Right, okay. After on the smaller wheels for better steering. Lock the lock kind of thing. Uh, Do an angle kit on it. 
it's just like rack spacers and things like that. They're yeah. nothing like special. Um, and then all adjustable arms and stuff. Fucking flat. But uh, it's binding on full lock at the minute. You can see it on the outside of that tower. Oh, uh, tower. yes, so yes, it yes. It's going on full, full lock. It's catching. Do you know what on, though? I think it's just a, I think it actually needs a wheel limit to be honest with you. Yeah. That's what it does. It's always well, the thing that you put off, like, in it. <laughs> See, I just bring this car here and abuse it, and I don't do anything with it ever. And just bring and it, it just takes Yeah, it. and it just takes it. So How long have you been doing that now, like, with this setup? Two or three years. Fucking no problem. But, like, I'm only... The car only gets out, like, two or three times. So if Yazer's RX-7 wasn't fucking gangster enough, look at this engine bay lads! Look at the flake. Yo, Yazer, what's the percentage of flake to paint in that engine bay? Probably about 2,000 to 1. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely mental that there's more gold than black. I love it. He's got a wee Guinness can, big man, loves it. Holy, that is. That's how you do it lads. When you're going to drift car, you have to send it. <sighs> wow. Can you please hit it? It's fucking sick and it sounds unreal. It's got a silver painted carbon fiber on it, which is pretty gangster. Um, yeah, this thing's fucking class. It sounds unreal. It's got blitz freeze. It's hot boys fuck. Yeah, this is gonna be insane. As I said, these boys actually do know how to slide. They're not like me, where they fucking kinda know, but they're learning. These boys know. I think uh, 
John was saying he got a Kaz for 300 quid back in the day. Fuck how things have changed, they're like 900, so now it comes through Stugan, so uh, this will be insane. We're trying to get a few boys rounded up, I think David's going to be coming out in tour as well. Um, fuck the name of the guy who owns this S14, it's gone out of my head. I put his Instagram here, um, but yeah, these cars are absolutely insane. It's mad to be out with boys who actually know what they're fucking doing. What do you mean I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> This thing is mental, and those boys are fucking nuts. Dave and John, absolutely insane. The tandems that they were doing there, they were basically door to door. It was fucking class. This thing is an absolute animal, and they're going out for more. It's not fucking stopping them. Look, Dave's not even driving, it's got hijacked. So, the boys are going mad with their passenger runs today. We're not hopping in this 180SX. This thing is absolutely insane looking. Bronze TEs, well, in the front anyway, it looks class. We buy body. Shout out to this option there, the King Mr. Smith. Let's go. Yazoo's RX-7 wasn't fucking gangster enough. Look at this engine bay, lads. Look at the flake. Yo, Yazoo, what's the percentage of flake to paint in that engine? Probably about 2,000. Yeah. Yeah. That is absolutely mental, man. There's more gold than black. I love it. He's got a wee Guinness can, big man. Loves it. Holy. That is. I'll tell you, dude, lads. When you're going to drift car, you have to send it. Yeah. 
And then what was the what was the kind of stage that you hit that made you go fuck drift car time? Basically, whenever they ran that amateur series, it used to be like a road car, and I like do that seventeen, and I was like, I tried the do that amateur series. I was really bad, and yeah. then I was like, okay, I need to add more to the car, add more to the car, and then just slowly. Um, but realistically, what was just watching stuff on YouTube. Yeah. From 105 horsepower to 105 horsepower, huge difference. So, what we're going to be doing now, we've got it fully set up as a chase car with this high tech 1 million pound suction cup class. We're going to be following this, getting some insane shots. It's going to be class. I'm going to be up Yazir's hole. So sorry, Yazir. So sorry, Yazir, because I'm, you're probably not going to know what the fuck I'm doing and shit yourself. But let's get to it.
and holy fuck has it been mental. The cars are absolutely mad. As you can see behind me, on the middle of we're having an insane livery. It's class. Today I've been at a track with people who are driving a nice car. You can actually fucking drive. It's been refreshing. It's really, really I made me, yeah, eye-opening, honestly, like, because, like, previously we were drifting and there's a lot of BMWs that come up and a lot of the boys are really good drivers, but three car here is around 300 brake or more. And it's just, it's, it's, it's insane. It is fucking insane seeing these boys driving. Some of these boys have been driven for 10 years plus. Yazir, uh, who has the Rotary RX-7, he actually entered a competition at BDD in 2017. Back be nice. Yeah, back before it closed down and then reopened again. So it's been insane. Um, Rosie, what do you think about being around drivers who actually fucking know what they're at? I feel like we'll actually learn something. I like, genuinely, like, like they're talking to us about all these air lock kits and all different ones. And just... I don't know, like, the way their cars are set up, they, they know how to go, like. Literally, like, because I was saying to fucking Dave, like, the problems about my diff and stuff, and then Dave was like, oh, mate, I fucking know someone who had that diff, and if you do this, this, and this, that'll make it better, and you just have to, and it's just like, fuck, it's mad that he's not even seen my car, my car's not even here today, and he already knows that. I've been all experience over the years, I'm just doing stuff, like, yeah. they, they just, they just, they just know. know. So it's refreshing for us, because it's new eyes, it's people who you're kind of seeing, you know, we're hopping in our cars today. Today we haven't really done as much drifting in front of McFarlane's car. We we'll hopped into uh, John's John's S15. We we'll hopped into Neil's 180, and we we'll hopped into Yazers RX7. All of them cars were fucking insane. And not only were the drivers insane, but seeing the fact that you know they're drifting nice cars. Yes, some might not be road legal, but all at one time were drove. Seeing them fucking drifting it like this, madness. Goals, like literal goals. Yeah.